I'm gonna spray you in the face with some mace. Right? I would hope you would do that. Back up. I would hope you would do that. Back up. Because I have a constitutional right Back to up. get in your face with my words. You're spitting on my face. No, I'm not. I got a mask on, fucker. I'm about to soak you down. Dude. No, go ahead. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Centennial, Colorado, at the United States Post Office, Centennial Branch. And today, as usual, uh, we're gonna take some video out on the public sidewalk on public property and in the public building and uh, see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. So we'll see how it goes. Taking a quick look at the uh, flags here. Um, look like they're in good shape. Uh, I don't see any fraying. So, uh, look pretty good. A lot of post offices have flags in poor shape so it's good to see this one uh, has some decent flags up. And uh, another thing I like to check while we're uh, starting up the video here, not seeing too much garbage around. Uh, a lot of federal property is pretty poorly maintained and uh, not seeing too much garbage at this one so far. You know, a couple things here and there, but uh, nothing, nothing major. A lot of post offices have like a massive garbage pile on the property. So. Little path here. Side, really not much. Uh, you have your standard armed robbery of a postal employee or a postal facility carries a prison sentence. So, uh, years upon conviction. looks like some pretty standard signage here. And uh, that's about it. Nothing about face nothing covering. About nothing about face coverings. Uh, nothing even about firearms, which are not allowed on federal property, but usually they have a sign. Got, and uh, in this case, they do not. So. So let's take a closer look at the signage real quick. Services are also available at a local Ace Hardware, according to this sign here. And, uh, like you like to point out, once in a while, no handicap access buttons. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading about that. They don't have to have the automatic thing, but uh, the door is supposed to be like a certain opening size or something. Certain width? There's a, yeah, there's a few. Uh, 36 inches, I think. 32, 36, yeah, something like that. And there's a specific height that the uh, threshold's supposed to Four be. Four inch. Yeah. It's funny how they have a sign here that says, for your convenience, full services are also available at Ace Hardware. Down the street. I mean, what are they trying yeah. to defer some of their uh, traffic here? Interesting. So they have one of these uh, drive-throughs where you drop off your mail in the uh, special mailbox here. I just figured I'd get a shot of the drive-thru. Yeah, that's what happens to all these masks. Everybody worried about paper bags and plastic bags and plastic straws and all that nonsense. I can't even imagine. So this is uh, employee parking lot back here, it seems like. And uh, there's another fence around the other side of the building, a uh, larger fenced in area. Not sure if it's attached to this one. What are you doing? You don't have authorization to video skip there, right here. Wait, wait, let's start all over again. Hi, how are you? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Standing here taking video? Why? You don't have authorization for, for video to skip my daughter, right? Well, you and your daughter weren't in my video until you stopped and started talking. You should stop. Well, you should stop walking up to cameras and saying you don't want to be in the camera. That's 
bad logic. Welcome back to Colorado, folks. Are you filming me? I'm filming the post office. You don't have authorization to film me, so sure. do delete it. I do. Yes, I do. Well, it won't be deleted. You don't have authorization to drive within 100 feet of me, so don't start the car. She must, she, yeah, she must have heard the other lady saying that. Because authorization. Yeah, they're talking Who would say to that? What gets me is, I mean, I'm not being ridiculous. Somebody has a question, somebody has a concern, somebody wants to know why you're filming, so you politely ask. You know, the instant anger before the conversation ever starts. I don't, I don't know what that is. Yeah, guys, don't uh, don't be one of those one of these people. If you see people, somebody doing something, and you're curious about it, uh, you know, be polite. <laughs> don't just run up to someone and start uh, screaming. You don't have my permission. Get you a lot further. Why are you feeling for people? I'm sorry? Why are you feeling for like people? I, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Why are you feeling? What are you feeling? Up in front of the post office. Why do you do that? Why do I do this? Uh -huh. I'm working on a story about the post office. I wouldn't make the daughter scared though, that's not a good idea. There's something to be afraid of. Well, it's kind of weird, it's like both of you are... Well, weird is weird. You know, I, I think a lot of things are weird, but they're okay. Hey guys, so you see these videos. Uh, we don't have, uh, you know, hours of footage of people just going in and out. If people don't say anything, a lot of the time they don't even end up in the video at all. But uh, people choose to draw attention to themselves. Counterintuitive. And then the other problem is, is people will go inside and say something to the clerks, and the clerks will just exacerbate the situation and be like, oh yeah, they shouldn't be doing that. I don't know why they're out there. Yeah. What they should do is, and I think they have an obligation to tell them, no, they're perfectly within their rights and they're allowed to do what they're doing. It's not a big deal. And if they said that, you know, people love to follow directions. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure that would uh, probably take care of the problem for 75% of the people that ask. But instead, they choose to squirt gasoline on the flames and blame us. What are you guys doing? You're videoing everybody? Uh, just taking a video, yeah. Huh? Just taking a video. Yeah. Why? Does it matter why? You, you say it. I don't want to be rude with you. I mean, I, I return what I'm giving. But you say that like somebody owes you an explanation. Oh, yeah, they do. They do? Yeah. Must, I mean, you have me confused with weird. somebody else. I don't know what you're going to do. This is really weird. If somebody approaches me with respect and courtesy, I can say that. So if you want to start all over again and be in a good mood and ask me what I'm doing, I, I might explain it. I'm in a phenomenal mood. Huh? I'm in a great mood. You're in a great mood? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. go inside, do your transaction, and you come out. Maybe uh, we can have the conversation you want to have. I don't know if I want a conversation, I'm just curious. Oh, so Why everything you everything on your terms. I'm, yeah, start, you I'm starting to get freak, to know you very well. You are really a freak. I'm a freak? Yeah, you're a freak. Really? Yeah. Okay. You're a freak. I appreciate I appreciate you're you. Freak. That's good. I came up to ask a very intelligent question. What Not really. Videotape? Not really. You said what are you doing and why? What are you a cop? What if I was? Well, then you should put your badge on, identify yourself as a police officer, and then maybe we could have that conversation. I have an answer for everything. I'm not an easy person to talk to. No, My you're afraid. I got it. You're afraid. Well, yeah, you're afraid. Okay. If I was an idiot, I'd return that right back at you, but I'll stick with free. That's fine. Wow. <laughs> Coming from the guy with the uh, stand up for your country bumper sticker on his, on his uh, car over there. That's it. I'd love to know what he means by that. Stand up for, Stand your, up country for your country, but you're a freak for taking video in uh, public. It's a freak 
again. I'm still willing to start all over with you. You're a freak. You should start doing what your bumper sticker says on your car there. Start living up to it instead of just virtue signaling to your friends. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know you don't. That's ignorance at its best. Yeah. You have a sign on the back of your car that says, stand up for your country. Yeah. What, what have you done Is to that do what that? You're doing? What have you done to do that today? You have no idea what I do. You have no so idea what I do. So now you're starting you're to talk. Free. Well, you're there you free. go. Celebrate your ignorance. Have a great day. That's uh, BWA W28. Uh, kind of Colorado plate. X Terra Pro VX. Sure. You probably decide, oh, I'm going to go take over the Capitol. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You're the kind of guy that assumes things at your age and knows better. Uh, you're probably an idiot. Okay, you are. Could be. There you go, a boy. Yeah. yeah, I want to see you guys. Smile. I'd still love Smile. to have the conversation Smile. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a free right there. There's a You're free. a good guy. You're a free. You're going to show that to all eight of your Facebook friends? I don't even get on Facebook. Oh, you don't yeah, have yeah. any friends? Well, I have a lot of friends. You know? Do you? you probably are. Maybe one of them will enlighten you one day. What's that? I said maybe one of them will enlighten you one day. I keep offering to have an intelligent adult conversation with you. You're not interested. So you could have found out exactly what I was doing here today. But go home and celebrate your ignorance. Good luck to your kids and your wife. Sorry? I'm working on a story about the post office. What a guy. She was fine. By all appearances, had no issue with what we were doing. She's going to go inside and overhear some kind of sensationalized, over -drum -drum dramatized, whatever that word is, yeah. dramatic conversation, get fired up and come back out in a bad mood yelling at us. Yeah, well, she's going to find out that we're not with the post office, which somehow makes it okay. Right. <laughs> And it's funny too, because people don't realize the hypocrisy of what they do. Because he's calling me a freak for standing outside of the post office taking video, and then he whips his camera out and takes video. Yeah. So depending on what the purpose is, makes it okay or not. Yeah. When he doesn't even know our purpose, so how can he make that call, right? Yeah. What does this look nefarious? Nefarious? Yes. No, or anything but. The nefarious guy's got a secret camera he'll never see. What's this about? Sorry? What's this about? I'm just doing a little story on the post office. We're getting some B-roll of some customers coming in now. Well, that's a hammer. Everything looks like a nail. And I would venture to say, I shouldn't say anything, but I would venture to say the employees know we're here. They don't have an issue with it. Yeah. Inside will be another story, but yeah. they're in there, the two uh, mandarins are in there crying <laughs> about what's going on. Yeah. And then the lady that went into the nice will overhear that. That's how that goes. Look at that. Out of curiosity, why are you guys filming her? If you're curious, I'd be happy to tell you. I don't, I don't want to yell across the parking lot, but I'll tell you. Sure, yeah. Uh, and we don't like to. No, no, absolutely. While I'm doing what I do, I generally don't explain myself, but I always return respect with respect, absolutely. and you've been very absolutely. respectful. Uh, so this is my son. Yeah. And uh, we've been traveling the country for 18 months, defending our constitution. And the way we do that is, I'm going to make it real quick, because I don't want to give you all the money for it. But I have a long history of working for uh, media outlets. And I was a photographer for the New York Times years. Uh, so we were looking for a way to kind of support our constitution, which is taking a beating right now. Yes. And chose video as a venue. So what this is, is an exercise of rights. It's an exercise of our First okay. Amendment right to be gotcha. out in public taking You're video. To That's all it is. But and people get very fired up. No, and I, think I think it's... Human yeah. behavior is fascinating, but no, you've just proven absolutely. my point. If your ears absolutely. are open and your eyes are open and your mouth works, you ask the question, you have a cordial right. conversation. Exactly. And now you go home and... Now I understand. Reason. That's it. And I hope you support yeah. what we do. Yes, sir.
So if we're out here for your rights, everybody's rights. Has nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with people. No, I got you, but we're losing our rights right and left. And rights and left moment, there's no exercise and they go away. Yep, thank you. Have a great day, man. I appreciate it. Oh, so there goes a <coughs> normal person. <laughs> so what do you think? Get a few more people going in and out and we'll walk around the building? Yeah, might as well. Is there something going on that we don't know about? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Is there something going on that we don't know about? Oh, so there's plenty going on that we don't know about, but not here. No. Just what you see. Maybe okay, thing? Yes. And I, you can't say that. I say that all the time. And I, the kids always correct me. It's what you You can't say videotape anymore. I, I say that my husband had a business. Maybe I'll. Oh, he's a videographer, Tim Yeah, so that's why I say that. Well, good. I hope he's still out there taking video. Yeah, as much as he does. Well, maybe suggested to him. He might come home in a better mood if he has a hobby. <laughs> well, you might get this one. Well, you have a good day here. Thank you. And I'm not going to stop saying ma'am, and I'm not going to stop saying dear. I don't know. I grew up in a uh, very respectful family. Stop it. What? I said stop it. Stop what? Why don't you ask me? Filming people without their permission, without knowledge of what the fuck you're doing. Why don't you ask me and I tell you? I, well, I did ask when it was coming in. What are you guys doing? We're filming people. Well, you're that wasn't a good answer. Listen, if you want to have a cordial I'm conversation, I'm happy to have I'm a happy cordial happy conversation. All right, so then you want to start all over again and I'll be cordial? I just did. Okay, so my name is Jason. And my name is Severio. Nice to meet you, Severio. That's a very cool name. I had a friend named Severio when I was a kid. So, I'm not going to ask you what you think we're doing because I already know what you think we're doing. I don't have no idea what we're doing. We are not. What I'm doing right now has nothing, zero to do with politics. Okay, what I'm doing is, this is my son, and we spent the last 18 months, we've driven 34,000 miles across the country in defense of our Constitution. That's what we did. Okay. We're not about to fund the police. We're not right-wing Trumpers. But I'm not, I have zero to do with politics. I can care less. I think politics is a distraction that keeps me and you from having a nice conversation. That's what I think that is. So we're just, what we do is, I've had a long history in photography for the past 30, 35 years. I, went to, I graduated with a degree in photography, worked for the New York Times for years. So we've chosen photographs and video as our venue to go out and exercise our right to take video and photographs in public. That's all it is, it's an exercise of rights. So that's all we're doing. In our small way, we're trying to defend the Constitution. We're trying to have open dialogue and communication with people. I always like to say that there is middle ground, at least there used to be, and I don't have to approve of everything you do, you don't have to approve of everything I do, but we can certainly respect each other's right to do it, okay. shake hands, and walk away men, and think better men, and think about the conversations we have with people, how we treat people, how we get the information we're looking to get, who we're getting it from, and it's just about open dialogue and communication. I'm trying to, one day I'm going to have to leave this world and leave my son in it, and I'm trying to leave it a better place for him. Okay. So that's what we're doing. That's a great prelude. Now, what are you doing? Did you not hear what I said? I heard you said you have a right to film stuff. So I just... I but just, what are you doing it for? I just, I just said to you, this is an exercise of rights. Yeah. Right? So we are exercising our First okay. Amendment right to okay. take video and photographs of And for what purpose? You, you, you haven't told the purpose. I'm missing something. I have told you the purpose. I think you're not listening. Okay. Do you value your freedom in this country? Do you value our constitution? Fuck yeah. Politics aside, I don't even care what you're doing. You that. know, quit bringing that up. What are you doing here filming? What for? What's the purpose of it? Because you can? Is that it? Is that your whole purpose? I think you got a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> I just, oh, I just I, literally... Yeah, I think you need to come up with a better explanation of what you're doing. So you wanted to lie to you? No, I think you want to tell me the truth. That is exactly the truth of what I'm doing. You still haven't explained yourself. I told you specifically, I'll say it one more time. Go ahead. Because I, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm probably slower than you are. Put it in small words. I'll put it in small words. I am exercising my First Amendment right to yeah. take video and photographs in public. Yeah. And I've chosen that as my venue to defend our Constitution okay. because I have a history and that is a career. So in other words, you're just filming for nothing. Got if it. you think our Constitution's nothing, then I, I guess so. I can tell you, 
The modality you're using is failing 100%. What if, what if you... All you're doing is upsetting people because you've not given them no, no, no. a reason of that... what you're doing. What, what have you done to support your country today? Today, not 30 years ago, today. Just today? Today. What have you done to support your country today? What have you done to defend your constitution today? Let me see. Um, yeah, think about it and get back to me. No, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let me get in your face. If you get in my face, you're going to have to No, I'm going to get in your face. And I'm going to spray you in the face with some mace. <laughs> You would do that. Back up. I would hope you would do that. Back up. Because I have a constitutional right Back to up. get in your face with my words. You're spitting on my face. No, I'm not. I got a mask on, motherfucker. Just, I'm about to soak you down. Dude. No, go ahead. And you will lose your right of freedom. Get out of my face. No, I don't have to. It's my constitutional right, motherfucker. Get, see how this works? Do you see how this works? Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's not. Right. What I'm doing is trying to be a better person. Okay? Not I could have I could have just working. I could have easily just sprayed you down, man, in the And I would have taken you down so hard. No, you wouldn't. In have. in defense. Yes, I would have. No, you wouldn't. Have. Yes, I would have. I would have crammed this key up your nose and you it would have been over. You better get that shit out of my face, dude. And it would have been over. Get it out of my face. And you know what? Get it out I would have been face. right. Back out of my face. I'm I don't have to right move. Now. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Go, go ahead. Show me. Show me why I have to move. Do you think you're smart? Are you really that upset with getting old and being powerless? I'm not old and I'm not powerless, sure motherfucker. You sure you are. Try me. I'm trying. So I'm going to record all the information. I'm glad you moved before. away. So you got four, one, Your dad's two. a fucking nutcase. You're a clown, dude. <laughs> Get my face you stand and for nothing. You've been properly warned. You stand, stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. Severio Spagnoli, 552-04-1104. Got it? Say it again. You got a phone number? No, I just gave it to you. 810-4101. What's your home address? I'm not giving you that. Why not? Tough guy. Because I don't want it to shoot you because you came on my property. Oh, yeah? Is, that, what, that, stupid. is that what'll happen? Yeah, if you came on my property, yeah. yeah very good. Well, you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky I'm a better man than you are. You are not better. Right? You're sure, an idiot. Man. Far better. You're, you're standing never... for nothing. No. Not You're standing case. for nothing. What are you standing for? What are you doing? You stand for anything. I stand right. for my personal rights. No, you don't stand for anything. And all you do is stand around filming people, trying to get a reaction. You got no, one? No, I'm not trying to get a reaction. You're trying to have a heart attack. And you're going to give what? yourself one. And you're lucky I'm a better man Move than you away, are, Sicario. Drink a lot? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, you do. Yes, you? you do. Uh, guess what? Up until a year ago, I haven't had a drink for 27 years. Just go ahead and factor that out, and then we'll figure it out. Okay? Up until a year ago, so you, yeah. you can't take the world until you started drinking again. <laughs> you're, you're a COVID drunk. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. See, I'm a better person than that. I don't want to do that. You would have sprayed it? Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. No. You're probably right. Three matches below my car. Head. No, nobody needs to be streaming with anybody. I don't know what's wrong with people. It's insanity. See, but yeah, what happens is, is he asked me what I was doing. And I chose to be cordial and explain myself to him, and that's the trouble I get myself into. So, which is why I'm probably better off just standing here and not saying anything. You know, some people don't want answers, they want to fight. And, uh, like I told him, he's lucky I'm a better man than he is. Yeah, we need more civility. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I think civility, there's a, there's one step missing before the civility these days, and I think people just need to start having communication again. Communication's yes. a dying art. Sometimes if you talk about things, you can understand what's going on. And, but, you know, yeah. like I said, there's just people that want to be angry. And uh, there's well, nothing you or I will ever do to stop that. About how it's a, it's a toxic thing that erodes the vessel that holds it. Absolutely correct. Yeah. It's corrosive. 
It really is. Well, you know what? I always, this is my son. I always tell my son. In uh, any relationship in life or any situation in life, you're either helping it or you're destroying it. So it's always better to err on the helping side until you have more of a choice. Well, I, have to... I, I appreciate you, and I appreciate your attitude. Okay. And spread that around. We need more of that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Well, Severio's going to be getting some phone calls. <laughs> Starts reading off his phone number. What a jackass. But he didn't want to give me his home address, because I might go there, and then he'd have to shoot me, is what he said. I don't know. I don't want to spray some old man. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> call me an idiot, and you guys can call me a fool. Seriously, you could call me a fool and say I should Yeah, so but, uh, let us know what so you think. I don't know what he's going uh, home to. You I saw exactly what happened from my perspective. Um, AP didn't want to spray him. If the guy was two inches from my face screaming at me, I probably would have sprayed him. Um, definitely, actually. Uh, the level of aggressiveness that he was displaying, um, you know, I would have definitely uh, felt that he was about to attack, and that's uh, all you really need to uh, feel to be justified. If someone's putting you in fear that they're going to harm you, then uh, spray away. Take a little spin around the property here, see what else is going on, and then uh, we'll go inside and get our stand. The panic and fear, guys, I just can't say it enough. I just, I mean, you're witnessing it. No explanation, no, uh, no narration required. You see what goes on here. You see how I am with you. Um, and again, I mean, it gets old hearing it, it gets old saying it, but I return respect with respect and asshole with bigger asshole. And uh, I'm not the guy to start it. I, even, I always used to tell Watchmen when he was a kid coming up, he never really had a lot of problems because he was always uh, one of the biggest kids in the class. But uh, my words to him when he was in grade school, when he was a real little kid, I always used to say to him, never start the fight, but always finish it. And I think that's good advice, you know? No reason to go out and start a problem, no reason to go out and start a fight with people, but at the same time, there's no reason for you to have to take a verbal or physical ass whooping. Um, and I wouldn't put up with that, so, yeah. I think that's good advice. Don't ever start the fight, but always finish it. Should uh, get in there soon if you're gonna get your stamp, because it's uh, five o'clock, they close at 5.30. It goes at 5.30? Yeah, and there's a sh couple sheriffs there, too. Probably. <laughs> wonder what these guys are here for. Arapaho. This is the loading gate loading zone area, here. Loading dock. Parking and uh, postal vehicle parking area. Ready. Yeah, let's go get the stamp. Well, we gotta take a look at the lobby first. Yeah. Afternoon, Mr. Watchman, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, automatic door, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Post office boxes. I want to see where poster seven is. Should be hanging in here somewhere. Here we go. Poster 7. 2007 copy. So, rules are posted. Let's see if they honor them. So, keep this two for okay. the back, right? Yep, this is the poor Maggie. Okay. For the, it's what I've been told you're mounting, so show okay, that yeah, you. Yes, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you? For the wait, no, no problem at all. Thank you. Okay. That was very oh, quick, inside. actually. Can I just have you one stand, please? Thank you. Yeah. Is it yeah. May? Yes. yes. Thank you. Family, my family. Any kind, right? I like your mask. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> How fast do you need it? Do you and I'll take the receipt with that, too, please. Sure. Thank you. For 2635 Thank you. Anything else I can help you? No, that'll do it for today. Three-day one, so just just a three-day one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We have a survey at the bottom. Though. Great. Thank okay. you for being have courteous nice and professional. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank have you. a good day. All right, guys. So, stamp, receipt, and change. Uh, I was absolutely sure they were going to acquired without issue. Yeah, I was figuring they were going to have a problem in there too. So, uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, it's a great job on the part of the people behind the counter. Uh, no issues with them. And May sold us our stamp, and uh, no issues there. The overall, uh, customers as a whole uh, did horribly. <laughs> One guy got an AP's face, and uh, he's lucky AP's a little bit more hesitant about it than I am because, um, you know, I'm not trying to sound tough or something, but I would have maced him <laughs> for getting that close to me and uh, being that aggressive and the way he was acting. Absolutely would have been justified, in my opinion. You guys can weigh in the comments, let me know what you would have done. But uh, that's about it for this one, guys. So like I was saying, the customers did horribly, except for a couple that were nice, but you know, had some issues with customers. Uh, the employees behind the counter didn't give us any issues. That's about it for this one, though. Right? So if you have any feedback for any of the people in this video, as usual, uh, all that info will be in the description, contact info and everything. And uh, you can feel free to let them know how you think they did. And uh, I encourage you guys to check out the description. I always put a lot of info down there. And uh, also, if any of you guys live in this area, uh, as I've been doing recently, I encourage you guys to come do a follow-up and see if you get the same treatment, see if you get treated better, worse, see what happens. And uh, keep, these, keep these folks in check. So uh, if you like the channel, you like this video, and you support what we do, the best way to help the channel out is to subscribe, turn on notifications, uh, hit the like button, hit uh, comment, check out my other social medias, all that, share the video. And that's about it for this one, guys. So watching the Watchmen, out with Family Gansett Press, here at the Centennial Branch Post Office in Centennial, Colorado. See you on the next one, guys. Uh,